This video demonstrates the basic steps required to draw a half section view. An isometric view of a symmetrical part is shown here. A cutting plane cuts the object and removes one quarter of the part as shown. Our task is to draw the half section front view and the top view. Here are the main steps for making a half section view. The first step is to draw the front view and the top view of the part. The part contains three cylindrical holes which are shown by hidden lines in the front view. Next, we add a cutting plane line in the top view. In a half section, the cutting plane passes only halfway through the part, and removes one quarter of the object. Usually one arrow is used to indicate the direction of the section view. In this case the arrow is pointing towards front, and therefore the section will appear in the front view. The next step involves the mental visualization of the section process. The sectioning process has removed left front quarter of the part and has generated three new surfaces. The surface A and B can be seen in the front view, whereas the surface C is visible in the left side view. The next step involves the identification of the sectioned area of the front view. The surface A and B can be easily identified in the left half portion of the front view. These section surfaces are surrounded by both hidden lines and object lines. In the next step, the visible edges of the removed portion will be erased from the section part in the front view. Next, the hidden line boundary of the sectioned areas will be changed to visible lines, as these edges are now exposed to the observer. In the next step, a hatch pattern is drawn to represent the sectioning area. Hidden lines are usually not shown on the unsectioned half, unless their use improve the drawing clarity. For a symmetrical part like the one shown here, there is no requirement of the hidden lines. A center line is used to separate the two halves from each other. The final step is to add the essential dimensions to the drawing, 